Hello friends, welcome back. Let's look at this interesting example, simple example related to binomial expansion and permutation and combinations together. We have to find the value of 7c0 plus 7c1 plus 7c1 plus 7c2 plus 7c2 plus 7c3 like that up to 76 plus 767. We have to find out the value of this. Now remember this can be 7 or it can be 9, it can be 11. We have to find out a generic formula so that we should be able to apply for all this sort of problems where 7 is replaced by some other number. Okay, fine. So first we will try to understand what is given to us. We see that we see that 7c1 is repeating two times, 7c2 is repeating two times, 7c3 is also repeating. So other than 7c0 and 7c1 remaining all are repeating two times. So let me write down what is given. Given to me is 7c0 plus 2 into 7c1. Let me just change it it is 2 into 7c1 plus 2 into 7c2 like that up to 2 into 7c6 after that I have 7c7 this is what we have now we know formula that 7c0 plus 7c1 plus 7c2 plus 7c3 up to 7c7 is equal to 2 power 7. At the end of this particular problem, I'll explain you how this formula is derived also. It is very easy. So we know that formula. Now, if I want to take two common I see that 7c0 and 7c7 are only 1, remaining all are 2, 2 times. So what I will do, I will try to say that this value is equal to some x and will try to add the 7c0 plus 7c7 on both the sides. So the, my next step will be, I will write down, I will say 2 7c0, so I have added 1 7c0 there it will become 2 into 7c0 plus 2 into 7c1 like that. Now my last term will be 2 into 7c7. Then its value is nothing but equal to x plus 7c0 plus 7c7. I hope you are okay with that. We have seen that other than the first and last terms remaining all are having two times. So we just added so that we can apply this particular formula whatever we know. Okay. Now if I take two common what will happen? If I take two common it will be 2 into 7c0 plus 7c1 plus 7c2 like that. We have to go to 7c7 which is equal to x plus what is 7c0 7c7 we know that that's nothing but 1 and 1 x plus 1 plus 1 so next step will be we know already 7c0 up to 7c7 is 2 power 7 so I can go and substitute 2 into 2 power 7 is equal to x plus 2 that means 2 power 8 is equal to x plus 2. That gives me x equal to 2 power 8 minus 2. So, instead of 7, if it is 11, what will be your answer? Can you tell me? If it is instead of 7, it is 11, your answer will be 2 power 12 minus 2. Because the formula is nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 up to ncn is equal to nothing but equal to 2 power n. What is this formula? We also write it as, I will write down here, this formula can also be written as c0, that is nc0, c1, c2. We will see how that formula comes also, it is very easy. 
up to n terms that means c n are nothing but n c n is equal to 2 power n. So, if n is here right c 0 c 1 c 2 is means n only. If instead of n it is 7 this becomes 2 power 7. If it is 11 this becomes 2 power 11. So, simple it is. So, we do not need to actually calculate the value like I mean like we do not need to find out what is the value of 7 c 0, 7 c 7 and all that we do not need it directly we can substitute here 2 power 8 is nothing but 2 power 4 is 2 power 4 is 16 16 into 16 is 256 minus 2 that is equal to 254 suppose in place of 7 it is 11 then the answer will be 2 power 12 minus 2. Now, let us see how this particular formula is derived. How this formula is derived, we will just have a look at that. This particular formula I am referring to, we will have a look at that. Now, let us see how to derive the formula n c 0 plus n c 1 up to n c n is 2 power n. We know that, let us go to binomial expansion, standard formula x plus a whole to the power of n is equal to n c 0 x power n plus n c 1 x power n minus 1 multiply with a plus n c 2 x power n minus 2 multiply with a square and like that and the last term you know is n c n a to the power of n. Now, let us say that x and a both are equal to 1, x equal to 1, a equal to 1. What will happen now? x plus a that is 2 power n is equal to n c 0 into x power n that is nothing but 1 n c 1 again see how many times you take and multiply that is nothing but equal to 1 only if I put x equal to 1 a equal to 1 then what happens 2 power n equal to n c 0 plus x power n minus 1 1 to the power of anything is 1 only so all these whatever we have other than the binomial quotients remaining all are 1 only. So, that is nothing but simple it is right n c 2 n c 3 I can go up to n c n. Now, that is how we know that n c 0 plus n c 1 plus. So, when now when n becomes a 7 7 c 0 7 c 1 2 power 7. You want to cross check that we will take a simple example whenever we are not sure what we are doing always you take some simple example and try to see whether that logic works out fine or not. Let us say what is 2 cube. 2 cube according to our formula should be 3 c 0 plus 3 c 1 plus 3 c 2 plus 3 c 3 correct. Let us find it out now. What is 3 c 0? 1. What is 3 c 3? 1. What is 3 c 1? 3. You know that 3 c 1 equal to 3 c 2 right because we have a formula n c r is equal to n c n minus r because n c r formula is factorial n divided by factorial n minus r. I can write factorial like that or like this and on the right hand side also you will have the same thing factorial n divided by factorial n minus r into n minus of n plus r that is also factorial r. So, these both are same n c r equal to n c n minus r. Now, how to do 3 c 1? 3 c 1 is factorial 3 divided by factorial 2 into factorial 1 that is 3. 3 c 0 is factorial 3 divided by factorial 3 which is equal to 1. So, answer is 2 cube equal to 8. So, we have so, we have proven that n c 0 or can I say in terms as c 0 plus c 1 c 2 up to c n equal to 2 power n. Now, suppose you have only c 0, c 2, c 4 then what will be its value? Let us have a look at that. Just we will extend this and we will try to finish that one too. Now, we are interested in finding out the value of what is the value of c 
C0 plus C2 plus C4 only alternatives or let us say even. Now like this if I go up to Cn what is its value? I know its value is 2 power n minus 1. Earlier it is 2 power n now it is 2 power n minus 1. How we will prove it? Very simple. We already proven that let us write down this C0 we know already that C0 plus C1 plus C2 plus C3 like that if I write down all of them at up to n terms is equal to 2 power n. Now what what we need now we need only C0, C2, C4 that means C1, C3 should all should be cancelled right for that what we will do we will take our earlier where we kept x equal to 1, a equal to 1 we will put down a equal to minus 1. When x equal to 1, a equal to minus 1 how it looks like? If x equal to 1, a equal to minus 1, here I will have 1 minus 1, 0, 0 to the power of anything is 0, which is equal to nc0, that is nothing but c0, x power n is 1 only. Next time when I go, I have nc1, remember x to the power of anything is 1 only, but a is minus 1, so it is 1, minus 1. Next time it is nc2, minus 1 whole square. Next time it is nc3 and minus 1 whole cube like this we have. So what happens now if you observe whenever the minus 1 is having odd number it will it will be cancelling here right when I add let us write this down. So next step will be 0 here nc0 is c0 plus c1 into minus so that is minus c1 next one is c2 because minus 1 whole square is 1 the next one will be minus c3 I, I hope you understood this now when you do like this what will happen your last term is cn you try to add them now you try to add both of them c1 c3 all will cancel you will have c0 plus 2 g 2 c0 plus 2 c0 can i take two common 2 into c0 plus c2 plus c4 like that up to cn is equal to 2 power n now if you want c0 plus c2 plus c4 it's nothing but 2 power n divided by 2 that is nothing but equal to 2 power n minus 1 so that's how we can prove that C0 plus C2 plus C4 or NC0 plus NC2 plus NC4. Let me just, if you don't have this term, NC0 plus NC2, then you have next NC4 like that, then it is 2 power N minus 1. In the same lines, you can prove that C1 plus C3 plus C5 up to, enter, uh, up to CN minus 1, that is also equal to 2 power N minus 1. So that's one interesting example which I thought of. It's a very simple example but only the thing is we know binomial expansion x plus a to the power of n but how can I apply it so that I can find the sum of the binomial coefficient. So we have to think a little bit out of the box and see that how I can get for that we take the values of 1 because 1 to the power of anything is 1 and when we want to cancel off of the terms we take other one as minus 1 because minus 1 to the power of odd number is minus and minus 1 to the e to the power of even is plus so you can easily cancel out half of the binomial coefficients from c0 to cn so i'll catch you once again with another interesting example till then keep smiling and sharing bye for now